I may as well try them. I haven't even opened them yet. I got them fairly cheap. And I don't know which one to try first. I'm gonna have to open them first. I bought them because I have an interview next week and my other lipstick's gone smush and it's not a colour stay either so and I doubt this one's a colour stay, this one's just a lip cover. I think it's even supposed to go on top of um, lipstick in general but I'm not sure, I'm just guessing. It's like. But I think I should put this one on second because um, this one is the it's a color stay lipstick I think and I want to try it first so I'm just gonna open this one now it takes a little while this is kind of old and they were in special. This one was 10 bucks down from like 24 or 34 dollars. And the other one, which I'm assuming is probably 15 to 20 dollars, was two dollars. So, good bargains. <laughs> so, instead of paying like 50 bucks, I paid like 12 bucks. Now, I don't like spending money on makeup, but it's not cheap. And I haven't tried this brand in ages. I was using a really cheap $2 brand that I got from an Asian discount store. And I think this this one oh, it's hard to get all the plastic off. I think this one is too light for me. But I'm just checking to see if it's a colour stay because because um see it's this color it's a bit light but if it's color stay then I can use it as at least a base and I'll put the other one on top I haven't had a color stay usually I choose the ones that, that rub off so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on now that's an alright color I wanted a deeper red one, but that one was like um, 25 bucks. You know how a lot of people, you know, think that lipstick has AIDS <laughs> and that it's dangerous to consume while wearing lipstick because of the germs on lipstick or whatever, but I think they fixed a lot of those issues up, so I'm not sure if they brands generally have AIDS. But this is um, a nice moisturizing one. This one's an expensive Revlon brand. so And the color is light, but it's not too bad. It's a nice color, but I doubt very much it's color stay. No. Nah. It's not color stay, but it might stay on for longer. That's okay. It's an okay color. Let's see. This is more like a lip gloss. This other one. So, oh, I'm not really sure what it's going to be like. So I'll just put that stem of it down and. top it only makes it a little bit darker but um still nice and once again it also rubs off So now I've got nothing on. Yeah, they both just rub off, so I'll try this on by itself. Yeah, 
yeah, I think it works even by itself, so. But it won't stay on. It's still nice red, so I'm glad I bought both of them. Not sure if I'll have any allergic reactions, but the red one is great, and the other one has a nice feel of it about it. I think the lip glossy one's sparkly. It's got a bit of shimmer to it, but no, they're good. So all set. I don't think I'm gonna have any allergic reactions anytime soon, so that looks like you seem good then. Whatever one's moisturizing, the other one's soft and a good color, a good tone, and a little bit sparkly, so.